we are now at the fourth and last exercise of this workshop. Uh, in this exercise, we'll uh, bypass WAF um, using request modeling. In this scenario, it's uh, Nginx proxy connecting to a GoLang application. The GoLang has multiple um, SQL injection, but um, it seems pretty secure because uh, as soon as I'm using malicious character, uh, Nexi is blocking uh, me from doing uh, those malicious requests. Uh, same here, if I'm doing uh, union select something, uh, because of union select and the fact that uh, Nexi is using under the uh, lib injection, the request is being blocked. Um, how can we circumvent this protection? Um, just like a WebSocket, uh, we can upgrade from HTTP 1 to other protocol. And one of this other protocol is HTTP 2 clear text. And uh, many protection uh, like mod security or Naxi will not look at uh, other protocol when analyzing a uh, HTTP request. So for this reason, it's kind of a, a blind spot for, for those and uh, verification are not applied to HTTP to clear text uh, string. Um, so to do our uh, this exercise, we are going to use the H2C smuggler uh, proof concept script that was uh, provided with the initial uh, research. So this is not the script that I've written myself, uh, but if you search for the original research, you'll find uh, this script as well. It's included in the workshop repository. So what you need to specify is first the X parameter, which is the target URL. Here it's our proxy. And dash T will simply uh, trigger uh, testing for the H2C upgrade. So here we can see uh, that with success, I was able to um, do the update to clear text. Because if the backend application is not supporting um, H2C protocol, unfortunately, this technique will not work. Um, if I want, for example, to access uh, slash admin or uh, slash php my admin, I would need to specify as a second argument, a second URL that I'm triggering in this tunnel. So the first uh, URL is the one uh, initiating the uh, tunnel and uh, the, the second URL is the, the actual request you want to see the, the answer. Um, and maybe uh, similarly to uh, the first exercise, uh, the second exercise with HTTP2, when we're in the context of multiple uh, microservices, you can always do some tests to different path uh, targeting de different uh, microservices in the backend, just in case one of those um, microservices support HTTP H2C. But here we're not going to uh, request uh, slash admin. I'm instead going to uh, test for this pattern of SQL injection that was blocked. And I'm going to uh, specify it as a second URL. And here we can see in the response that uh, from uh, the multiple, the seven value that were uh, specified a few of those are reflected so the union select was was, was successful and a few value were reflected so from there on uh, we can easily uh, read uh, values from other table in the database uh, so this scenario was to show you that uh, h2c is a request smuggling uh, technique that has its advantages uh, you will not be able with this technique to do, uh, for example, the XSS pattern 
that we've done um, the rejected XSS to persistent XSS but uh, it's helpful to bypass uh, any type of uh, blacklisting uh, or mechanism of verification that is only applied at the proxy level and also if you are curious there is a part two to the last exercise if you want to um, access a hidden path you can access slash admin and you can do uh, the exercise on different uh, web proxy you'll see information in the code labs if you want to do the uh, those tests